What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Phantom Core Apollo. So, the Apollo, unlike the Hera, which was a brand new blaster to the Rival line, this is just a repaint of our blue and red Apollo. So not as exciting, obviously, as the Hera, but I still thought this looked awesome because of the white paint scheme and the Spartan mask they got there going on. And I just thought it would look awesome with a pump kit on it. So I decided to pick one up in hopes to hopefully mod it down the road sometime. So, of course, this thing is advertised to get 100 FPS, which it does achieve that. Should be achieving that with this version also. We'll definitely check it out, though, and make sure. So this is very similar to the Hera, how it loads through the grip. I really like that feature. I really liked it when the first Apollo came out, and that's probably one of the best parts about the Apollo is how it loads through the grip. Let's go ahead and flip it around and see what the back is telling us. So, unlike your red and blue Apollos, this one will come with a 12-round magazine, not the 7-round. So that could be a positive or a negative, depending on your point of view. But I think it's probably a positive because, you know, more rounds the better. But it does look pretty cool with that seven round magazine. It also comes with a red flag and a blue flag, just like the Hera. So a few extras there. Uh, unlike the original Apollo, I'm not sure if all that is worth the extra $10. But if you really like the white, I'd say go for it because I think it's a pretty cool paint scheme and I definitely prefer it the best of the three options. So without further ado, Let's get into this thing. Okay, so in the box, like I said, you get your Apollo, you get your 12 round magazine, you get 12 high impact rounds, you get your two flags, one blue, one red, and you get your directions. So when I was at the store picking this up, I actually went ahead and grabbed the fourth version of the bandana. I did a review on the other three, but they did not have the white version. I didn't know it existed, but it does, and it's awesome. So there is one black Phantom Core and one white Phantom Core bandana. And let's go ahead and get this out of the package real quick and put it on. Why not? Okay, now we're ready to do the review. So the blaster obviously looks awesome in this white grip. Just like the other Apollos, very beefy, very comfortable. Really like the grip. Trigger pull is nice. It does have a trigger lock, so if you push this this way, it locks the trigger so you cannot fire or cannot pull the trigger. Let's go ahead and take our 12 round magazine and fill it up with our high impact rounds. You just put them in just like this. Twelve rounds loaded up. You just insert it right into the grip, just like this. Locks in there. So there's your Apollo with the magazine inserted. This version, unlike my original version of the Apollo, does have a jam release button. So if you incur a jam, which this thing can jam, especially uh, when under heavy use, you just pull that down and I guess it unjams the blaster. I have not used the Apollo a ton in battle because I was never a big fan of this Prime, but and it really needs a stock in my opinion, but they make these things now. Uh, several different people have made pump kits and stocks for the Apollo, so that's what I plan to do with this actually down the road. So let's go ahead and show you how the blaster works. You will pull this back and push forward, and that primes the blaster, and then we're ready to fire. See, I want to shoulder it, but it doesn't, it's just not, it's not, there's no stock there. <laughs> that has some pop, guys. That is insane power from this blaster. Very impressive, the Apollo is. It is probably one of the most powerful rival blasters, and they're all relatively similar, but I feel like this one packs probably the most punch out of all of them, especially out of the Springers. So that's what makes this so cool. And if you just fix the priming issue and the stock problem, you have a really awesome primary. The blaster is really easy to remove the magazine. You just push on the button behind the grip here 
and it drops the magazine right out and then you can insert another one right back in its place so pretty cool i really like a lot of the things about the apollo i do kind of wish it had a jam door you know but they didn't design that and so it was nice of them to at least to go back and put that in there i don't think there's much more to go over let's go ahead and take it outside and put it over the chronograph and test it on the range okay guys so let's see what the rival phantom core apollo has for us on the range and across the chronograph here I brought out the 12 round magazine it comes with along with a seven rounder so we'll get quite a few shots over the chronograph here so let's go ahead and test it out see what it's got 95 100 99 98 96 100 98 98 99 96 2 more 102 99 all right, so that was pretty good FPS out of the Apollo. I don't think we need to shoot off anymore. I think that was uh, telling us what we needed to see. So let's go ahead and check out the ranges. They were not quite as accurate as I was hoping, but they did shoot pretty hard. This is a short one here and it only went 47 feet, but that was a kind of an outlier. The other ones went down here. We got one here at just short of 61 feet this one's about 61 feet this one's just past this was at 62 feet uh, just short of 64 66 there's some over here around the 60 ranges here 60 feet uh, 62 feet about 63 and a half feet uh, this one over here is about 73 feet there's one just short of 73 feet here we're missing one oh probably the most accurate one of them all i passed at 49 feet so there you go those are all 12 of them i guess it's time to cut the grass so i can find my rival rounds a little easier all right so let's go back inside and check out the internals all right guys we're in luck we have metal gears in there which is awesome and I'm not sure I'd recommend it, but it does mean that you could possibly even increase the spring load slightly. Maybe I'll tinker with that during my mod of this, but uh, that means that this thing should last quite a bit longer and have less issues, hopefully. Okay guys, so obviously we know the ups and downs of the Apollo, most of us, but for those that don't, this thing obviously has some power. It performs really well. Unfortunately, it really needs a stock to be able to stabilize it well and to allow you to be able to use this prime properly because when you prime it, it kind of is, it's a little difficult and definitely could be difficult for younger kids. Nevertheless, the, the hard prime gives it its power because of that spring in there and it's nice to see that it has those metal gears because that will allow it to hold up over time, hopefully. Um, and it also will hopefully allow it to hold up over a little stronger spring power and I plan on testing that out finding a spring that's to add to the spring maybe to make it a little bit beefier and uh, hopefully adding a stock to this and maybe even a pump uh, kit to it so uh, I do think this thing looks amazing I really like the way it looks is it worth the extra ten dollars over the others and you can probably even find the other ones even cheaper than twenty dollars now on sale or whatever this is a Target exclusive and they do have sales there often, so you kind of have to keep a lookout for those. But I do like the way this looks. I'm glad I made the purchase. Uh, I didn't really talk about these flags, but I, they're a nice touch, but I feel like they're kind of useless and I really have no idea where an appropriate place is to snap these on here. So I guess that's your only option, but that doesn't really make any sense at all. And because there's no tactical sling point on the blaster, this really is pointless, in my opinion. So, 
I'm not sure what they were thinking on that, where they, you should attach those, but I guess you could attach them to your body somewhere or something. But uh, definitely not to the blaster as they seem to intend. So I think uh, overall, though, it's a good blaster. I think it's um, possibly worth the $30, depending on your perception. Uh, if you rather have a seven-round magazine and you aren't a big fan of the white, then obviously this probably isn't the purchase for you. But if you love the white and you love the Phantom Core logo and you, you want your blaster to hold a few extra rounds, then I think this is where to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button. Please subscribe. And as always, peace out.